keeps making this weird ass noise. No, I'm saying like from compared to that one, it's like really different. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. I'm Kev. I'm Amanda. I am going to be going to the worst reviewed nail salon in my city. So I know this is a trending challenge on YouTube right now. So I need my nails done. I'm not even gonna lie. I think it's gonna be pretty bad. I hope not. I'm just saying. Really I'm just saying. Not. I'm so scared. They started doing my nails so that I won't bite them and that they can grow. And they actually have been. So now if someone f that up. <sighs> This place is literally one star. Not one and a half, not two, not one and a quarter, whatever. Literally one star. Okay, so this lady says that she was charged three extra dollars from the price that was written on the bill, on the thing, the sign. They tried to skeef her? Yeah, when she asked what it was, she was told 15, but then she ended up paying 18, three dollars extra for a manicure. Um, because she had chosen a non-standard premium brand and color. I was neither told this at the time when I chose the color, nor were the signs posted where the nail polish was displayed. So apparently based off the nail polish, it's going to be more expensive. So make sure you say. watch out for that. If they tell you it's going to be, you ask them in the beginning how much, and then at the end, if they try to skeef you. The lady who gave the manicure was nice, and the owner was very pushy. She wanted to order it for me, and I could pick it up. I don't know what she's talking about. What she the hell is this take out? So then she says, FYI, there is no spa. It's a skinny bed in the hallway. Stay away. They have two negative <laughs> reviews. I should have checked them out first. Okay, next. She says, service was very lackluster. The owner, I don't know what that word means. The owner kept trying to pressure me to do a polish I did not want. So she was trying to upsell worst. her. That's the worst. And I was going to give her the extra $10 just to make her stop. The worst part of this experience is what happened when I left. The pedicure was fine, but not a spa pedicure. So it was just a plain old pedicure. Plain old, huh? But the polish was done well. My hands, on the other hand, looked like... They were chopped with little scissors along the cuticles, which they were, and the skin took weeks to heal. Not a very pleasant experience at all, and I will never return to this place, nor will I recommend it to others. Then you're going to leave with a cut up finger? If I leave there <laughs> with an infection in my fingers, oh my God, I'm going to like file a report to get this place closed down. There's I don't know if it's normal or accident to cut fingers or cut cuticles or whatever, but... Like... Oh my god, I'm... I don't know. Really nice girls, but they do a bad job on your nails. Been a few times and will not return. I figured I just got a bad girl, but they're all bad. No attention to detail. Pretty much shot all the employees right in the leg saying that they're all shit. She only went to one of them. She only came here once. How can she say they're all shit? Basically, what they're saying about this place is they got cut fingers and they don't pay attention to detail, meaning they can't paint nails. Which should be the most easiest thing to do if that's your job. Yeah, that's the basics, right? Like, you can't like, get the basics right. Okay, guys, so obviously there's only one way to find out if these reviews are true or if people are just making them up, which I doubt. So, I'm going to keep an open mind going in there. I'm not going to be rude, obviously. That's not me. Um, and we'll just see how it goes. So. Is it for shellac manicure? 30. 30? Okay. Can I do that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this one. It's 177. Mm usually busy? Mm -hmm. Weekend and busy. Weekends? Mm -hmm. But now the weather cool, not too much busy. Yeah, I know. Mm. Where you live? Uh, I live like on... Uh... Mm. What time you come here? Yeah. Mm. Uh, can I just see it again? 
How come the color looks so different? No, you put in the line and you just change. change. And sometimes this one I put outside the sun, you know. Oh, okay. Long time and change a little bit. No, I'm saying like from compared to that one, it's like really different. That <laughs> one's like a beige. This one's like a purpley. You wanna put another bay on top for you? Uh, no, it's okay. You're not know wrong, huh? Yeah. Look like this man. <laughs> Good. Look nice. Thank you. Okay guys, I'm whispering because there's nobody in here and I'm currently in the washroom. This is what it looks like. The toilet keeps making this weird ass noise. Like it's like breathing or something. Somebody's gonna come out of it. Some creature or something. I have no idea. Um, there's a coffee table in here in case you wanna sit in here and have your coffee. And then there's some extra paper towels and some painting on it. So my nails are already done as you can see. I will show you guys once I get to the car. I'm about to leave. So guys, we're back home and I have no idea what man is about to say, <laughs> but Take it away. I walk in there, I'm like, hi, how much is shellac manicure? She says $30, which is what I usually pay. So I was like, okay, it's not less, but it's not more, so it's fine. So then so she's good. like, okay, what color? And I was like, okay, can I see the colors? Like, what do you mean, <laughs> what color? So she shows me the colors, and the thing that they were on looked kind of old. Like, I'm not even gonna lie, the colors looked like old lady colors, like there was no <laughs> bright colors there was no new no. summer colors like it just looked very not nice yeah. it's just her the lady the owner and her daughter her daughter wasn't even not working like not an employee she was just yeah like it was, she was a just watching girl. youtube videos like, like a, it was a young girl 12 like years old no, no customers, customers in there. just me so i there was like four or five pedicure chairs and they looked really crusty Crust. Like the Straight seat, like crust. the middle, like spine of the seat was like coming apart, like the leather. Disgusting. It looked so disgusting. First, I'm looking for my color, and I'm always indecisive on the color, but I kind of had an idea of what I wanted, which was like a beigeish brownish color, like a nudie color. Beigeish brownish nudie? Beige, beige beigeish brown nude, like a. <laughs> Like a nude color, kind of. I'm like looking for it. I can't find what I want. And then I asked her, and because I actually wanted one nail marble. So I'm Damn, like, you're getting fancy. Do you do marble? Like, I didn't care if I had to pay an extra $3. And she's like, no, I only do marble on fake nails. Which makes no sense to me because if you're still doing it on a nail, then why can't you do it on a real nail? I think she didn't know how to do it straight. I just think she didn't want to watch my nail. She didn't want to do it or she didn't know how to do it straight up. I'm like, okay, no problem. So <laughs> I pick a color. It was like a closest thing I could find to what I wanted. It was called sugar berry or something sugar like that. Berry. At this point, like everything was fine I guess other than the fact that there was no one in there like it was really quiet she would not talk like she didn't say how are you like yeah. nothing like, like how's your day not even that like they should be paying attention to you so that makes no sense like yeah like at least have a conversation with like you. if you like, guys saw in the you video you don't go get your hair done and the hair salon lady doesn't talk to you like that yeah, doesn't make yeah. any sense like if you guys saw in the video like Mando was the one to start the conversation and then yeah that's literally all the conversation was like she never asked her like she just brought up about her nails i think and that was it uh going cutting my cuticles and honestly like i've gone manicures many times before and i've never felt the feeling that she was giving me like, like it didn't what? hurt but it was like uncomfortable like she would like clip it and pull and like i just felt my skin like pulling like, <laughs> Like so hard, like it was really weird. So that felt really uncomfortable. Like if it okay. started to hurt, I was obviously gonna say something, but it didn't hurt. To so, the point, yeah. Yeah, okay. so next, what happened? I'm the one that asked her um, if it gets busy. Like I didn't know yeah, what to say. Like, 
Friday afternoon, which Guys, there yeah. was no one in there. Should that be girls makes, getting their nails did every yeah, Friday. Yeah, for the weekend. That makes no sense. And then she also tried saying that the weather, like it's winter, so nobody goes. <laughs> People still do their nails in the winter. Like I don't I, know apparently, that. when the winter comes around, nails aren't a thing. Um, I, 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 so that kidding, was like, also like excuses. really weird. Let me remind you. I should. I didn't take this in until right now. I never washed my hands. She soaked them to cut the cuticles because it has to get soft. But after she finished cutting the cuticles and filing my nails, I never washed my hands. She's ready to put on the color. It's about to put it, like I see her open the bottle guys, and it doesn't look like what I want it to look Just gonna like. let you know what you guys are about to hear right now. That is gonna be the most crustiest thing you've probably ever heard. Like. I cannot believe she said this to you. So I'm pretty sure I didn't pick that color. And she's like, I think she noticed my face and she's like, 177, like sugar berry. Like, this is what you picked. Sugar berry. This is what you picked. And I was like, yeah, can I see it again on the on the display thing? She, she grabs the display thing and she shows me. And I was like, yeah, I want that. And she's like, okay, this is it. So she starts putting it on. Mind you, it was a beige color. And then this is what I get. A purple, like, light purpley pink color. That's not what you wanted? No, I picked beige. Like, I picked a beige-ish brown color. Because I know some colors, they look different once they go under the UV light thing, right? So I'm like, so maybe the first coat is just very pinkish and then it's going to get brown. And so I put it under, I take it out, she puts another coat and it still looks like that. And I was like, why does it look so different from the thing? Like I fully asked her. Like, it's about to come guys. Girls know what I'm talking about. The display thing, she leaves it on the ledge that she had it on and there's always sun coming in from the window. So she's saying that the sun, it like soaks out the color of the nail polish and she doesn't like repaint it over to be the actual thing how do like, you tell someone how can that you show something on display and it is completely different Not even that. she told you that she leaves it in the sun and that it changes color yeah. like you know like why would like you the tell the person the no like why would you tell the person that like you know, why would she tell you that and that was That's like what I'm saying. oh so guys pretty much what she's saying is every color on that list it's or whatever different than what it's actually going to be in the bottle so that makes no sense right there. Like, I don't understand. You're you're offering these colors yeah, or whatever, and then and it's not the they're not even color. the same actual. <sighs> I'm like, I wanted beige, right? And she's like, do you want me to put like beige over? Like, she wasn't going to take this off and do a beige color. She was just going to put a beige put layer over. No, no, like, I don't want another, like, color on top of this like it's fine like i'll just go with this one she wasn't willing to take this off the only thing that i liked was that her her shellac like uv machine was built into the desk you just put your hand in cool. them like this on the side of the desk and not like on a machine in on top of it so i'm just gonna show you a close-up of my nails before we end the video they're very purple as you can tell i'm not a fan like this okay it's not that it's an ugly color i just it's not what I wanted. Overall, I would give the place a oh, two stars. Two I stars? I don't think it's as bad as people said one star. Yeah, maybe they just had like a messed um, up experience or something. Yeah, like, like you know? she wasn't rude and yeah. like, but she just wasn't like, she didn't go out of her way to, to do anything no. special. Um, she couldn't do marble like I said yeah. and yeah. I would just give it a two. So two overall. Two overall, and I would not go back. Two and I. And I'll go, go back. back. So guys, like always, we hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more Kevin Mandel. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.